regardless of what you did, nothing seemed to come right. But our police alone, our police alone in this battle. In fact, Commissioner Fivers recently said that policemen perceive themselves as being alone, really, in this battle. How do we deal with what you've just heard? Alicia, the only thing I can say is, can you imagine um, to live with the images <coughs> of that bad experiences? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That horrible images that can haunt you any time, day and night. It must have an effect mm -hmm. on your mental health, for sure. I mean, every story literally touches me, but I'm sure the police are even worse because they see the blood, they see everything. But you as a police woman now, as I can see, how are you finding it? You know, we are crying out, Felicia, because people don't care for us. They think we are maybe some people who, who are not anything in the world and they must know that we are very important in the society and they should respect us as they respect other people with other professions. Mm -hmm. Now, where, where you? Community must also be user-friendly, you say, huh? Yes, Felicia, I think um, if you, everybody wants the police to be user-friendly. So we try our utmost best to be user-friendly. But the, 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 what, what are we getting from the community? That's why I want the community to talk. <coughs> Let's hear from the community. Come on, guys. Do you really feel what does CPEF stand for? Brixton Community Police Forum. Uh-huh. Uh, Felicia, I'm here with all my members from the uh, Brixton Community Police Forum. And I would like to know from that gentleman that was shot through the throat, mm -hmm. uh, whether he was taken to the Garden City Clinic mm -hmm. for treatment. Mm -hmm. Because we, are, we live in that area mm -hmm. and we find that the criminals are being taken to the Garden City Clinic mm -hmm. and they're being hospitalized there. With them. And whereas the victims are having to queue at the general hospitals and nine out of ten times they don't even get the kind of medical attention that they deserve. Where did you go? Um, I was fortunate. I went to the um, Camden Park Harvard Clinic, which gave me excellent service. Hmm. <laughs> yes? Yeah, first of all, I, I sympathize with people who were victimized by criminals. I sympathize with you, I sympathize with everybody. I've got no respect for a person who attempts to take his or her own life. First of all, there are many people who are unemployed, suffering and stuff like that, but they are trying. To make, uh, to make a living, they don't try to commit suicide. And this topic is highly emotional, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like narrow, it's not broad. We need to talk about transformation within the police mm -hmm. service, racism within the police service, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, corruption within the police service, and stuff like that. Not this um, emotional and narrow kind of topic that I see today. But, uh, but it is that emotional and narrow stuff that is the result of what you're talking about. Absolutely. I'm not trying causes. to be insensitive, okay? Some of my friends happen to be police. Don't misunderstand me. You know what I mean? Um, some of the police, uh, 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 some, some of the police uh, co collaborate with uh, criminals um, and stuff like that. We need to talk about this. Do things. you have evidence? That's okay. one. Th Just give me the second break when we can bring up no, the no, other I don't officials. Have any, no, no, no. But uh, so you cannot we say know they, they are happening. We you know? cannot say they collaborate. But we if you know they are happening. We need to talk about these things. We okay. Need to talk about After it. the next break, we'll be talking about that. Thank you. Yes, I'm uh, Inspector Barons from El Dorado Park Police I've Station. Seen you before? Yes, I've been on your show That's before. That's right, and I want you to make the same statement because it was quite an important statement, and I needed you one time. Yes, but I was gagged. I was told that I was given a personal warning verbally by the MEC of Houting Safety and Security. Mm -hmm. So I took caution not to, like, say whatever I All like right. to. Okay, we'll to get back to the policing issue. I understand that gentleman's sentiments. Um, if, you're, if you're a policeman, there are some times that you need to pay attention to certain details. First of all, I'd like to say to the, uh, the commissioner. He's come, well, we, we hear someone. No, I'm talking said. about the national commissioner oh. and the minister. You said earlier that we are alone in the struggle. Yes, we are alone. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we are alone. If there were people that were really interested to know what we're actually going through and what we need to do to curb this uh, the, the, the rising crime rate, the commissioner should have been here. 
He, s he sent somebody and he wanted no, to come. No, he should have been here. Mm -hmm. Don't send, uh, don't every time send somebody else to do your own dirty job. You will be gagged again, you know no, that. No, they can do that. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't care. If our people in power or the, our management as such can pay more attention to what the people on the ground, not just the police, tell them. The community also are very important. <clears throat> and it is built, the police is a family. And what the commissioner and the minister must understand is that that family and that house is built on two things, confidence and trust. Mm. And if the people don't have confidence and trust in the police, then we'll never, never, ever in our lifetime uh, see that there's no crime in our country. Mm. There'll always be crime. Thank you. After the break, then, we'll speak to the Deputy National Commissioner and a psychologist and a chaplain. Some people commit suicide because they suffer financially or so, but when policemen commit suicide, they do it because they have emotional pain. They want to get away from that emotional pain.